here is Stefania Cassini and you're watching Without Your Heart. Neil, and I'm with Michael Epstein and Sophia Cacciola at Buffalo Dreams. It's a very long title, Fantastic Film Festival. It was cool, it was clickbait, which I've seen many times, but it was very cool to see it in front of a, in front of a crowd. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. yeah. What's that like for you guys to watch in front of a crowd? It's good, it's harrowing, because sometimes people don't laugh as much as other crowds do. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, do they hate it? <laughs> but then they ask right. a question, so it was, it was good, but yeah. It's always fun, because we, do, we don't know, because we, we make a movie and we're yeah. like, is this a movie? We don't, we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have no idea. Because it keeps um, people's attention. So then you sit and you, you're like, I guess people felt like they could put yeah. their eyes on it for 80 minutes and you know yeah. that's cool then it feels like a movie yeah when you said about people laughing do people ever laugh at things you didn't, don't expect them yeah, to laugh at yeah all the time like our first movie we played at like a festival that had French people and like well, somebody was like brutally murdered in it, and the, people, the French yeah. people were laughing so hard and I was like that's not a yeah, funny I'm, there's other funny parts yeah. but you know it's just people yeah. find different things to be ridiculous in, and that's mm -hmm. fine I in always France horrible laugh. violence is, is apparently funny. Funny. Sure. you know yeah. Turns out. It turns out. It turns out. It's a good response, I feel like. Yeah. Even it, for clickbait, too, uh, it's very tonally confusing for us, even. We're kind of like, what is this movie? Is it a yeah, dark yeah. comedy? Is it, a, you know, I mean, we, we sort of view it as like a satire. And so it has a lot of humorous things in it. Um, there aren't, there are some kind of straight joke things sure. in it, but a lot of it is kind of like, are people going to see the satire and laugh at it or react to those moments? And, um, and sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't, and sometimes people laugh at things that other people are like, "Well, that's that's weird. That's not. Right. That doesn't feel funny." Yeah. Especially the ending is um, yeah. particularly a moment where I'm like, "I don't know if people are gonna how sometimes the response it. is." But it's also like you know, murder. So it's kind of over the top. <laughs> right. It's it's got some anyway without spoiling, but it's yeah. yeah. Going in, did you know what kind of tone the movie would have, or did that change no. while you're making it? Uh, well, I don't know. We knew it. Not, we, no. we knew it. <laughs> Some of it would be comedic. We knew it had moments of comedy, but yeah. the yeah. the comedy was amped up, let's say, yeah. through the yeah. post process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was it was always a satire, but we tried to. We went in. We we're like, okay, actors, you know, be really kind of straight with it, and mm -hmm. like, let's let's, and then they just were better at. Um, they were good at comedy. They were really, like, uh, Amanda especially, who's the lead who plays Bailey, I was surprised how funny she was. Yeah. Even, you know, in especially moments like just... there's a few scenes where she eats, and, yeah. like, we would have written every scene to be her eating because she's so funny at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like... So she kind of added a, uh, her Her just natural kind of... Um, way of doing stuff what added like a really fun kind of humor to it so it's like let's push and it brandy lean into does, that like, brandy does comedy. too yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but that was more known i think yeah. or, or whatever but, right yeah we knew that going in yeah um so yeah so we just kind of lean into it you, you you're like this is working this is not working so let's go instead of trying to steer a well, train that's out yeah. of control you, you that you can't steer <laughs> right, you, just, right. you just accept you're like okay i guess this is a little funnier than we thought and we're gonna we're gonna amp up the comedy and right. i mean Many of the characters are ridiculous, as you sure, you might yeah, yeah, recognize in the, yeah, in the yeah. film, right? I mean, yeah. uh -huh. it's not a, it's not exactly a serious true yeah. drama or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know when uh, during the Q and A, uh, Greg brought up you know the two strudels, and you guys said that wasn't really originally part of the. No, it was just an film. art department prop. Like yeah. Mike was like, I want them to eat uh, toaster pastries at breakfast. Just make a box, and so like me chuckling to myself, I'm like, ha, ah, it'll be called two strudels. <laughs> like I don't know, just yeah. play, play, funny, yeah. five year old boy humor. Right. And, like, it just became this out-of-control thing. Once it was on set and everybody, like, the cast and crew were interacting with the box, it, mm -hmm. like, became a thing of its own. And we're like, all right, we'll just film these little segments and we'll go, like, on DVD extras yeah. or something, you know. And then, like, we had them and they were so funny, at least to us. <laughs> we're like, well, now we have to, like, find a way to incorporate them yeah. into the mythology of the movie. Yeah, and I think I had wanted to really, I mean, I said this in the Q&A as well, that I really wanted to find a way to talk about how it's, like, it's, you're selling advertising. I mean, part yeah. of this internet yeah. stuff mm -hmm. is really, you're just selling advertising so it it naturally made some sense to mm -hmm. kind of push in that yeah. direction um, and then uh, I think I also mentioned that the secondary characters we were like well we have these scenes that kind of develop them but they're kind of they feel a little weak overall and so we just chucked some of those and then used their like toot strudel ads right. as the way what? to learn about them instead yeah. when you do that though do you think um 
not a negative movie, but does it take away kind of like the, the who done it because you don't really know those characters very well? Not that um, the movie yeah. really about who did it, but that was one of my concerns in writing. I think that it's not really strong on the like mystery of it, but it's kind of not the point of the yeah, movie. Yeah. So, yeah. but but, but it is that with the poster in the trailer. It's like who is it? Right, <laughs> like, yeah. That is also not like really how it's handled in the film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it definitely, I mean, if we really wanted to go that way, we would have had to have spent a lot more time with the characters. Making them do weird stuff. Yeah, like making, and we did, we had a few more scenes. Uh, some we shot, some we just cut. So especially like Brayden. Uh, Chase, especially. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. There, was, there were scenes that were extra that were like him being suspicious or doing other yeah. things. But they didn't, they didn't really drive the movie forward and mm-hmm. they really didn't feel like they were... They were just there to be like, oh, we're not that confident about yeah. how you feel about the mystery. Mm-hmm. So we forced these... We like shoehorn in some, some stuff. Yeah. Um, and that's how I felt when writing the script. I was like, I'm kind of shoehorning all this in. And then um, I, we were very open with the actors. We said, you know, like, if you have any feedback, like, let us know and we'll talk about... If you want to, if you want to change something, let us know and we'll talk about about it and yeah. we might say no but we're happy to also they were have all a like discussion. a little bit younger than us so we're like yeah. <laughs> there's something more natural in the dialogue yeah. that you want to say that go right. for it yeah old, so. but I think every scene that I shoehorned in in the writing Amanda was like I don't I don't really I don't know if I like this like I don't and I'm like yeah it's, it sucks that's why you don't like it because I, I forced <laughs> it into the script um, so there was like I, I felt like okay I'm, I'm getting some verification within the process of making it that like some of this stuff mm-hmm. is just not doesn't really need to be there mm-hmm. in, in the movie and some of it, like I said, some of it we just straight cut. I don't think we even shot. There's a few moments we, sh- we didn't shoot. Yeah. And then there were a few scenes. There's one scene where they're, like, having a conversation. And they're like, who do you think it is? Like, and they, they talk about kind of each of the characters. And yeah. so it's supposed to be, like, you know, a proxy for the audience experience of, like, who do I think is the, is right. the uh, stalker? And it just, it was garbage. So we, we cut it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but the mystery isn't really the important part. It's more yeah. about the, yeah. the themes and other things, yeah. Uh, important question, which would you rather have, uh, celery or eggplant? Uh, <laughs> I thought eggplant. Uh, I, I'm... Plan. I'm sorry. Yeah, plan. Me, Jason. I'm on Jason's side. Jason, I agree with you. Yeah, and I don't think celery lends well for like a a, 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 a sweet. No. Treat. Well, an eggplant, I think, doesn't. It's you could do things with eggplant yeah. to make it taste right, like something right. else. Well, I think is, we, I've thought a lot about this. <laughs> well, zucchini bread is a thing. So yeah. Why not yeah. Eggplant, eggplant pie. Yeah. Yeah. Sophia made the first box and it was the watermelon. Yeah, we, cause we, very straight. I can't remember. Did we decide they had to be? You, you just made up that they were radioactive. Like how did no, that even happen? No, it's because the watermelon slices oh, they were in like triangles, <laughs> and when I put them into a circle, it looked radioactive. I think like, it was it an all accident. Came out of like, the graphic design. Yeah. 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 So she <laughs> so just like, yeah she just like put the watermelon together, and I was like, it looks like a fallout symbol. <laughs> right. So I was like, okay, let's make them radioactive because that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. radio yeah. radioactive. The whole thing food. just like went crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we hired like our friend to like do the information. And he's Austrian, and he does like an over-the-top German accent <laughs> as Professor von Tustrudel. And so, like, people are gonna think you're just like a weird American doing this crazy accent, but you're a crazy Austrian doing this weird German accent. Yeah. It's really, it's funny to me because of those layers, but like, yeah. people yeah. probably are like, "What is this dude?" <laughs> Since you've been doing the festivals, does it play differently at different parts yeah. of the country? Yeah, I don't know if it's regional or just, like, different who's in the room. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah sometimes that, yeah. it's, like, really raucous and sometimes it's a little more reserved. I think it just kind of depends, too. You know, sometimes you'll have, like, one or two people who really start reacting and laughing. Yeah. And I think right. once that happens, and everybody comes feels, really, yeah. feels comfortable with it. Yeah. yeah. And um, especially because the tone is a little strange, though. Sometimes people are like, well, this is kind of funny, but, like, it's also, like, there's some bad stuff happening, so am I allowed to? You know, people are afraid Should to laugh, laugh at yeah. Like, horror, horror Yeah, they don't want to right. offend you, maybe, because yeah. they know you're sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I remember... Uh, Human Centipede 2 I watch at home and I found it very funny and then I was like I thought maybe there's something wrong with me and I watch it <laughs> well there is a, well, yeah. and I watch it at a, 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 a not a festival at a convention and everybody else was laughing yeah. I was like oh okay now I feel like it, it's alright it's an okay response yeah. yeah but it is really interesting because we have you know we, we watched it last week in San Diego and it was like cackling the whole the yeah. whole movie like yeah. really really loud and here People laugh, but it was like a much more subdued response, and I was just kind of like, "Ooh, are people?" And I'm like, "Well, they're all because we look around the room. You know, we're like, are they watching? Are they like playing on their phone? Are they asleep? You know, what's what's going on?" Yeah. And um, you know, they were people were attentive, but I was just worried that they didn't. You know, it wasn't wasn't really happening. Um, 
but then you know, the the Q and A was great, and people we talked to a lot of people after, and they just seemed to really enjoy it. So yeah. you know, so, so it, it can go well without mm-hmm. a raucous response, or it can go well yeah. with the raucous response, or mm-hmm. you know. We did a screening once at a convention where a woman was knitting the entire movie, and really? I was like, oh, she's just here to knit. <laughs> not for <laughs> this movie, different movie. Different movie. Two uh, movies ago, and then like yeah, this is not a knitting movie. No, yeah. no yeah. <laughs> so she's just like hanging out knitting, and then at the end, she had the most in-depth I questions. Oh, I was going to ask you, what did she knit? The most amazing blanket you've ever seen. It had the movie logo on it. Yeah, right. No, but she really was. No, she had like crazy in-depth questions. Like, oh, okay, you actually like you just need to knit. Yeah, that could be in the next movie. The knitter respond in different ways. Yeah, right. Creepy knitter in the corner. Yeah, but you know, making movies. Yeah. Who, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, maybe she's on a timeline. <laughs> so uh, you have awards, I believe, coming up tonight. Yeah, isn't that weird to know before? Yeah. So we're nominated for things for the movie, but we mm-hmm. personally are being awarded for, yeah. like, I don't know, our personalities. <laughs> for being, for being uh, insane, Separately. Insane we're getting people. separate yes. awards. I have an award. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. I should have brought yeah, No, we should all brought awards. No, the, uh, <laughs> Buffalo Dreams, there, it's it's a festival we've been to. We were here two years ago with our last movie, Blood of the Tribbids. Mm-hmm. And um, Greg and Chris, who who run it, are really yeah. are really kind to us and really supportive, supportive of, yeah. of our work. And so, um, you know, I think they have a series of awards that are, like, announced in advance that they want yeah. to honor people who are kind of in the spirit of the festival and doing mm-hmm. things that they feel like are, you know, going forward within the yeah. context of what they like to see. Um, so they're giving Sophia an award for uh, Lo- Lois, Lois Weather, Weather Female Being Fantastic or yeah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I messed up the name of it, but yeah. she, like it's named after this woman who like was at the beginning of film and making, oh, like, really? like, making genre films, like made a Tarzan film and stuff and like oh, just like wild. kind of forgotten even though she was like working alongside like D.W. Griffith, you know, like mm-hmm. so like yeah. these, you know, it's a cool award because of that because like women have always been here. Yeah. It's like there's some point where we either get forgotten or written out of history or just mm-hmm. pushed away right. <laughs> it's just like a little reminder like hey we're here we're trying to work yeah. <laughs> so I really like I'm really proud of getting that award and just the, the short over. time you guys have been making movies have you noticed a change in that <laughs> Well, I mean, God, there's been so much with, like, the Me Too movement and all that stuff. I notice a change in um, people talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's very (laughs) known now that it's an issue. Like, 6% of directors are women. And, Mm -hmm. like, you know, I think, like, the first $100 million movie was um, Wrinkle in Time and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just, like... It's starting to happen, mm-hmm. but I think there's still a lot of barriers for sure. women to go to the higher levels. Mm-hmm. And people do talk about it all the time, but nothing yeah, actually happens. Yeah, a lot happens. of talk is happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're doing well, incubators like and mentorships guess, and yeah. shadowing programs. I'm like, you don't do that <laughs> for men. Hire women. <laughs> men do one short, and then suddenly they're doing Superman. And it's like, no, like, why do I need a mentorship for an incubation? Like, <laughs> right. you know, like, if that's not the way it's done for men. So I don't understand, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's still not really a confidence, like a willingness right. to... Yeah, to, like, just give me $5 million, you know? <laughs> give sure. oh, anybody, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. One, give us yeah. five thousand dollars. <laughs> give you five dollars. We'll yeah. 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 you know, we're not, we're not picky. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you go from here? Where do we go from here? Good question. Um, in our lives, personally. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying this. We're, we're going to drive uh, <laughs> east. No. Um, well, the movie has distribution, so we're working all that out, and we have a couple more fests coming up, and then and yeah. then it's kind of closing the chapter on clickbait for now, except for mm-hmm. it's never closed. But yeah, it'll come out um, probably a- April, May next year uh, on DVD and VOD, yeah. and then we're pushing. We, we will. Even if I have to like show up at people's houses, we will have a Blu-ray release eventually <laughs> uh-huh. as well because I I'd really want to see it out on Blu-ray. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know what that might be a little bit down the road from there. Yeah. And we're just trying to shoot our next couple films, yeah. trying to do some for zero dollars and some for more dollars, and yeah. where we get those dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. an interesting topic. Right. We have like a buddy. It's like a I guess a weird buddy comedy about. Uh, it's very two like '90s New York Jim Jarmusch style. Not set in New York though. No, like in LA, but like that in that style because like I love those movies. Yeah. Um, about two like people who films. are overnight have to what at least seems to be uh, uh, they have like five contracts they have to uh-huh. deal with, in which you know sort of assassins um, presumably. Uh, so it's over the course of one night and they have to go like deal with five things and there are people who are paired together like that that night for the first time and they don't of course don't really get along yeah. and they're being chased by other people and mm-hmm. so you know that kind of stuff so it's like a, a goofy uh, kind of 
I don't know, a cri- crime buddy comedy <laughs> adventure movie or something. Right. right. So that's another movie that won't. No one will know what genre it's. Yeah. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. even saying like it's just underground experimental. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's not horror. It's definitely not a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's really there'll be some blood. We like to make sure that it's really hard to sell our yeah, movies. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that nobody. Exactly. That everybody's like, we don't but know. This is one that like we're just gonna use our car. Mike's gonna be in it. I'm gonna shoot. You know, I'm gonna do yeah. all this stuff. So it's just like we're trying yeah. to just make something very cheap. Well, it's for me like I never care what genre a movie yeah. is. I even get kind of annoyed when people try to like, oh, this is whatever. Right. But then I don't think about like if you have to try to sell the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Right. You have to know that, I guess. That was one of the, well, it was one of the hard things for Clickbait because there are a lot of uh, like sales agencies that are really, they the, the, the ones that you know you can kind of make money, they have a good plan for making money. They're really good with like straight horror. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you make a rip off of a Conjuring movie or right. like a, yeah. you know, whatever, like a really, really straight, you know, kind of like. Obvious. Yeah. Very obvious kind of kind of <laughs> yeah. movie, um, and they're like, "Yep, we know what to do with that. We can make you some money. Like mm-hmm. we can do, do this." And then, we, so we, you know, we sent them this, and the guy was like, "I, I have no idea what to, he didn't, he didn't even watch it. He was just like, it's funny." I, he's like, "I don't know." I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but we ended up going. We, we went with this company. We signed with this company called ITN, um, and they. That they like. They, no, they, they, you know, wrote a long email about how, yeah. you know, what they liked about it and they thought it was a good fit and they could do something with it. And now we don't know if they're going to market it. They, you know, they may make a uh, really straight horror looking cover yeah. art and like try to sell it that way as if mm-hmm. it's really straight horror. And then people will be like, it's not, what it's the hell is this movie? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. whatever. I mean, you know, we made, we made a really slow moving psychological kind of sci-fi movie a few years ago that has like no action and it's really slow Mm -hmm. and dreary and um Wild Eye put that out and they and they made a trailer for it that was like pulsing slamming <laughs> action movie like, thing and I'm like this all is... like running like it seemed I mean, like very like intense like it was like a Tom Cruise movie so yeah. late and like loud music I was like, and like, yeah people probably will want to watch this movie but yeah. then they'll probably be yeah. very angry yeah that's the thing like I understand the idea you get people in but then like yeah. if they are mad that it's not if what you they got their five dollars doesn't matter and then it can also away people that right. would right. like it right. Right. Yeah, they're like oh exactly. I don't want to see that but a weird action movie yeah yeah you sort of hope the word of mouth gets to the people who are the right people and then you hope you kind of trick the wrong people anyway and get, <laughs> right. get them as well. I don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's not, it's sort of, the way we view it is it's kind of not our, it's our job to promote our movie to people sure. who we think would like it or do mm-hmm. press or whatever else, but it's not our job to decide how to like, what, what the cover art should look like. You know, yeah. we do we do design all our own artwork, but sometimes not, those companies, they'll, they'll, yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna want to make their own thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they know what sells in the markets that they have like real footholds in. Yeah. So if they know like, like last week, this is bizarre. Our movie Blood of the Trippers, which is a very 70s year old vampire yeah. movie, this company uh, put it out that's like LGBTQ um, focused mm-hmm. films, and they took the font off and put a different font that to me looks really stupid. <laughs> and uh-huh. I'm like, and they didn't change anything else, they just did the font. And I was like, Yeah, I couldn't really figure out why. And like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, this looks awful. But yeah. I think they, they maybe had to change want. the sizing or something, and they <laughs> didn't know. know what the font was. It was I don't hilarious. know. It was like, what is the point? It was yeah. so weird. <laughs> But it was cool that they. I mean, I'm, the movie. I love it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, a movie yeah. that's yeah. great. Uh-huh. Yeah. We support their their idea. <laughs> their mission. Their, their the mission. mission I fully and, support, and, but like so. the font, not so much. But we can't be picky it's about that hilarious. at this point. Yeah, like I don't, I'm not going to write to them. I just think it's funny. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. I mean, that's how all this stuff goes. You're like, oh, surprise! We have a weird cover in Germany that looks dumb <laughs> that uh-huh. has a person on the cover who's not in the movie. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you keep all that stuff, like all the different. Yeah. I mean, I save copies of all of it. We like to, you know, I mean, we we haven't had a big foreign physical release but I have, I have some like some friends who've had their movie released in like 20 countries and they try to they I mean sometimes it's hard actually but they try yeah. to get a hold of uh, every you know to yeah. every version of it mm-hmm. um and they all have like random, you know, clip uh, like stock uh, artwork. Right, that, right. That, that they're like, I don't know who this person is, but I don't know. I don't know why my movie is titled like this completely yeah. different thing. Well, I worked yeah. on this sci-fi movie a few years ago, and the cover is like an astronaut in a suit, uh-huh. <laughs> like all these lights. I'm like, we didn't shoot that. I don't think yeah, that's no, in the movie. Stock, There's yeah. no astronauts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. hey, whatever, whatever. Well, I'm guilty of it. Works. I did, the, I did a cover for a movie, and I put bats in it. There's yeah. no bats yeah. in the movie. But. <laughs> Were you, I mean, honestly, you know, we. 
like we grew cool. up in the eighties when it was just like they. I mean, I think they made the covers and the posters, but like before the movie oh, yeah. even existed. I don't think the people who made them had any idea what the movie was going to be in the first place. They were right. just like, "I'm going to make a cool thing." And then, you know, we went into the video store and we're like, "That looks that awesome." Looks sweet, and then yeah. often uh, it wasn't. <laughs> right. Then you'd be like, "Well, that didn't show up in the movie." Yeah. Either. Right. You're like, "Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess they're that." that yeah. That right. Demon. I to watch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I didn't know this until watching it again, but I dressed up as one of the characters, apparently, for Halloween. I dressed up as Poop. Oh, nice. It was very similar <laughs> to the costume. This is actually <laughs> yeah, kind of a, a really funny, funny story. story. Yeah, because we knew we wanted Amanda to be, like, a princess, like, uh -huh. you know, for her character. And then, like, Emma, the, that character, the brand was playing, we just didn't quite know what the costume would be. We knew it had to, like, be the opposite, kind of. of well, it had to be something that she's kind of... Uh, we wanted it to feel like she was sabotaging them going to this party. Like, right. she was dressed as yeah. something terrible. Right, right. So, but we didn't know what. Yeah. And then, it yeah, and then we were, like, it was, like, around Halloween we were doing the pre-production, and we look at her Instagram, the actor, Brandy, and she's dressed as a poop. <laughs> and so we're, like, story. that's hilarious. And yeah. I was, like, we need this costume. And then I realized her costume was branded, so then I had to, like, make the hat myself. Uh -huh. like, it's pretty so sweet. It wasn't the branded hat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's so. So Brandy really was dressed as a poop for Halloween, yeah. and, we're like, and well, we we're like, "Poop, that's perfect." For she the was movie. embarrassed yeah. to be a poop in real life, so <laughs> now she's a poop in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> she brought it upon herself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, honestly, uh, this little line from you, you is one of my favorite parts of the movie. It's very funny to me. <laughs> just like, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it, even though I've seen it like multiple times, every yeah. time it makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I thought that wasn't the original line that you uh, said. You said something about the boy. In blue. No, no, that was the end line still. Oh, okay. the, was, it was oh, okay. Yeah, there was a more, there was a little more dialogue. There was actually a little more like reveal yeah. dialogue in that scene. Well, luckily, I'm wearing a mask, so uh, I, we changed some of my dialogue in the scene uh, in post. But that line yeah. where I walk away and say, I, "Next year, I'm going to dress as something more popular," which uh, is great because was always his popularity it. keeps plummeting. Yeah, that was always that was always <laughs> in the script. But yeah, I thought you know if I'm going to make somebody dress up as Trump. Right. I might as well do yeah, it to yeah. myself, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was a fun little cameo to, to do and to, to get to, yeah. get to make yeah. that joke. And yeah. and then um, I don't want to spoil anything, but you know, we we were like we we were trying kind of in the Halloween scene to have a bunch of stuff that feels like a montage that's extraneous, that's just like textural, mm -hmm. but then ends up being really important to the plot of yeah. the movie. So there's like three things in that that feel like they're just throwaway, like, oh, funny, there's a guy dressed as Trump, but then it becomes, like, important to the yeah. plot of the movie later. So we, mm -hmm. we've tried to really incorporate that, um, yeah. which is, you know, was a fun thing <laughs> yeah. to do, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. yeah, that's good. And it's not over the top where if... Uh, if anti-Trump stuff would offend you, like you'd, you'd storm out yeah. of the movie or something, no. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not really direct. Yeah. You know, it's more... Uh, Which I prefer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's more um, bigger picture, I guess. Yeah. Like... It's not really about Trump. I mean, no, it's, it's not about Trump at all. Yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. thing. It's just like, but I think he is relevant to like the themes that we talk about in the movie, like just yeah. like how he rose to power and mm -hmm. everything. So like, it's funny in that in its relevance, but it's not it's not directly. Yeah, yeah. It's the ultimate in fame culture. Yeah, it's though, not like, really it's, like it's it's because yeah. it's like him, but not like necessarily in political sense. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's him in just like a celebrity sense. Yeah, you know? yeah. And just uh, anyone who watches without your head or anything, if you. If you like weird stuff that I like, this movie's perfect for <laughs> well, me. Thank so you. <laughs> I love all the comedy in it. Oh, I love the thank ending; you. it makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> nice. I know someone asked, like, why did this happen in the ending during the Q and A? But like, did you for see me, I was movie? like, it was perfect. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah directly I, relates I, back. So I don't know. yeah, I don't think they were questioning it like like it was it was wrong. I think they were asking oh, no. if it was imp on purpose sure. to parallel oh, yeah. like the yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But things, yeah. but uh, yeah, no. I mean, we were really trying to. Bring everything show back around, show yeah. the full, you know, the circle of the thing, and like yeah. the, the, I don't know, I don't, I can't talk about it too much without <laughs> saying yeah. what it is, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we, we like to do different things and yeah, tell stories I different ways. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I mean, we like you know, we've got gigantic props. <laughs> Maybe we're very realistic. <laughs> oh yeah, some because there's a heart in the movie, and we could have right. bought like a, a regular a human size heart, heart. Yeah, and we're like, no, 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 let's get the let's yeah, get the big one. Yeah. And, yeah. and so somebody was like, I think it was somebody on set who was just like, that's like a really big heart, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I know, it's not it's not meant to be yeah. Yeah, yeah. realistic. I mean, I think the movie exists within its own world. You know, yeah. and it's like in all of our movies, like we create like a little universe for them to be in. So it's not like it's supposed to be realistic. You know, it's like everything's surreal and it's like all oh, means something. So yeah, 
That's the you goal. know, if you can't accept that, if you want just realism and drama, then it's weird that it's a movie about uh, <laughs> social media, and then social media didn't want you to have, wouldn't let you promote the the trailer for yeah. it. It's true. Facebook is really picky about uh, what they described as like like. Um, Body mutilation. Yeah, but something. It was something about like the violence. It's a very, very fake looking uh, cadaver in a scene. It's the classroom scene where they're dissecting. It. She, yeah, she yeah. pulls out the heart, uh -huh. and it's like super no fake. Blood. <laughs> you no know, blood. It's rubber. Yeah, and uh, like violence. It's a joke. I mean, it's basically a joke. Yeah. You know, or it's presented as kind of a joke. And we purposely we thought about like, do we want to get a body that looks realistic? Do we want to try? Sure. And we were like, no, no, let's get like a like a. I mean, it's a little better than like a Halloween store. It's a yeah. real, it's a real sort of prop thing, but it's, Something but it's like not maybe like in junior high. Yeah, something. it's not like yeah. a super realistic yeah. thing. You know, it's yeah, kind it's of a, cast from a real person. I'm it's cast sure. from a real person, <laughs> uh, but. We didn't want it to be. We wanted people to watch that scene, you know, with the body and not and be like maybe grossed out because we made squishy sounds and stuff, but not yeah. grossed out like it's a really yeah, s yeah. realistic, you know, mm -hmm. autopsy scene or something right. like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Facebook like denied the, the ads. Yeah, it's like, I see weird. ads for the weirdest stuff. Oh yeah, like really, <laughs> yeah, violent, you yeah. know, mainstream movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care that. <laughs> no, it's fine. But yeah. The thing that kills me about like the nudity in Blood Trip is it's like mm -hmm. you were getting like pushed into like mature and like you couldn't find it in search for a while yeah. and it's like. Okay, but you can just watch Westworld and see all the penises you want. You know? like, uh -huh. and I do. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's like it's it's really upsetting when art to me is like if you have money, you have like a big production behind yeah. it, then then it's fine. You can do mm -hmm. whatever you want. But like if you're like an independent artist and you're trying to like say something and you don't have that backing, suddenly yeah. it's like no, 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 you well, can't exist. And it's like it's a really weird like way for like, broad culture stroke. to like squash any sort of outsider art yeah I think they just broad stroke things because they don't want like pornography or something you know like like or yeah. they're, they're, they're trying to ban things that like fine I'm, I'm sort of okay with them okay I don't want yeah, but to see like, we, like animal um, mutilation or like pornography on Facebook appeal it they're like, yeah there's they no appeal now because they don't you know? look at it they're not right. even they don't have resources to care they just say yeah. like we're just broad stroke like banning yeah, right. this it's content like all non-sexual nudity pretty yeah. much almost <laughs> it's yeah. like that's not like we're shooting for <laughs> but they're not evaluating it. That's what I'm no, saying. No, that's what I'm like saying. Yeah. 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 They just yeah. don't care. It's just... If I'm saying if I'm not allowed to do it, then Westworld shouldn't be allowed. Exactly, to do it. Yeah, you know? it should be, yeah. <laughs> should be across some the board. Set, yeah. set the standards. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I in fact believe that everybody should be able to do it. I forget the documentary was with uh, the guys who make South Park, uh, Matt Park and Trey Stone. Yeah. I might have the names reverse there, but they said when they were making. Um, What's the movie they did it's like about the pornography guy? I forget the name of the movie now. Oh. Um, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah uh, I, I can't remember. Orgasmo. Orgasmo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the censors were all over it. But then when they got big and then was doing South Park, like, they didn't care about yeah, anything right. they were doing. And they said it was just so obvious that yeah. when they had no money, nobody knew who they were. Like, yeah, it was, it was totally different standards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there, there's the joke about the South Park movie, right? The yeah. longer... What, longer, bigger, longer. Yeah, because they, they submitted it and got an X rating and then just resubmitted it with stuff added to it. They didn't cut anything. They added <laughs> yeah. footage and, uh, and then got an R. Yeah, <laughs> and that was like the the, the joke. Of like, wait, you know, obviously this whole system is totally yeah. bullshit. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, but yeah. yeah. So where where can you follow you guys? Oh my god, online, not like back to your home. Right? Not or, or back to home. Yeah, yeah our GPS. Uh, yeah. Is, <laughs> just just follow my uh, Starbucks. <laughs> the yeah, uh, our production company is called Launchover. So yeah. Launchover dot com, and it's on all the you know uh, Facebook, yeah. Twitter, whatever yeah. as slash Launchover over and then we are basically at our names um, yeah. so you have sophiacassiola.com I have michaeljepstein.com and then we're you know slash on all the social media those, yeah. those names yeah. everywhere pretty yeah. much yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> active. we come up uh, pretty readily on searches I think right yeah, yeah. FBI searches as well but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, it's always fun to talk to you both <laughs> yeah to meet you for the first time I know well it's funny too because I was saying like whenever like I've done like interviews with people or we Skyped or like we've yeah. been friends on Facebook for like 10 years I'm like oh we're good friends and then it's like oh yeah. we never actually yeah, like, yeah, never been in the same room yeah. Yeah. so it was good to, yeah. to have the weekend together the internet is a funny place right yeah, 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 you know, yeah no, I thanks. feel like it's real yeah. <laughs> I think it's the problem thanks for <laughs> thanks for talking to us and uh, we're, yeah. we're glad we'll to be here again. at Buffalo oh, Dreams fantastic, fantastic film, film festival it's without with, your head without your head <laughs> Jason is a good guy too Jason rules <laughs> So
this is Michael. You can say, like, I, hi, I'm Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say, I'm Sophia, and you say, I'm Michael, and then you're watching. Do you want to do that? Yeah. No. Okay, I'm, no. I'm Sophia. <laughs> okay. You're recording this, aren't you? Probably. Okay. That's what I'm going to use. Say your full name. Say your full name. <laughs> yes, right. Okay.